It was a bitterly cold winter's night when Sarah started her first night shift at the old, dilapidated nursing home. She had heard rumors about strange occurrences happening during the night shift, but she brushed them off as the ramblings of overworked staff. As the clock struck midnight, Sarah settled into the dimly lit nurse's station, her only companions being the soft hum of the fluorescent lights and the distant snores of some of the elderly residents. She tried to keep herself occupied with paperwork, but an eerie feeling lingered in the air. Around 2 a.m., Sarah received a call from room 213. It was Mrs. Henderson, one of the more reclusive residents. She was known to have severe dementia and rarely spoke. Sarah grabbed her flashlight and made her way down the long, creaky hallway to room 213. Upon entering the room, Sarah found Mrs. Henderson sitting up in bed, staring at the corner of the room with wide, terrified eyes. Her bony finger pointed at something unseen. They're here, she whispered, her voice trembling. Sarah's heart pounded in her chest as she shone her flashlight into the corner. There was nothing there, just an empty space filled with shadows. She tried to calm Mrs. Henderson, assuring her that it was just a bad dream, but the old woman's gaze remained fixed on the corner. Suddenly, a chilling breeze swept through the room, making the curtains flutter and extinguishing the flashlight. Sarah fumbled to turn it back on, her hands trembling. When the light returned, Mrs. Henderson had slumped back against her pillows, lifeless. It was as if all the energy had been drained from her. Panicking, Sarah rushed out of the room and called for help. The other nurses arrived quickly, but it was too late. Mrs. Henderson was gone. In the days that followed, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that something malevolent had been in that room with Mrs. Henderson. The other nurses spoke of strange occurrences during the night shift, flickering lights, disembodied whispers, and the sensation of being watched. But no one could explain the death of Mrs. Henderson. As the weeks passed, the atmosphere in the nursing home grew increasingly oppressive during the night shift. Nurses reported hearing faint cries and moans coming from empty rooms and seeing shadowy figures moving in the corners of their vision. One fateful night, Sarah was tasked with checking on the basement, a place she had avoided until then. As she descended the creaky stairs, the temperature dropped dramatically. At the bottom, she found herself in a cold, dimly lit corridor. She could hear faint whispers and echoing footsteps. Turning a corner, Sarah gasped in horror. A row of old hospital beds stretched out before her, each one occupied by a ghostly figure in tattered hospital gowns. They stared at her with hollow eyes, their faces twisted in agony. Sarah's flashlight flickered and died, plunging her into darkness. She could feel icy hands closing around her throat, choking the life out of her. In that terrifying moment, she realized the truth, the nursing home was haunted by the tormented souls of those who had suffered and died within its walls. Miraculously, Sarah managed to break free from the unseen grasp and stumble back up the stairs to safety. She never returned to the night shift, leaving behind the nightmarish horrors of the old nursing home. To this day, the nursing home remains abandoned a place where the night shift is haunted by the vengeful spirits of the past. The night shift horror stories live on as a chilling reminder that some secrets are best left undisturbed in the dark of the night.